Hello everyone, I'm Busy the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, you know, I I kind of gotten back into Call of Duty World War II, played a little bit, and it made me think of playing Call of Duty as a teenager. You know, um, I found Call of Duty Black Ops, and I played MW3. This is back in 2011. Sometime in 2012, we got Xbox Live, and uh, that was when I became a Call of Duty nerd, man. I loved Call of Duty from, you know, 2011 to, like, 2017. It was just, like, from being, like, a, I think it was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just, man. Like, the prime days, right, of blissfully wasting time on Call of Duty. It was amazing. Like, I remember not much of MW3, but Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, Black Ops 3. I just remember, man, my friend showed me quick scoping. I kind of had good aim. Raging. There was a point where if I played Black Ops 2, three or four deaths in, I would rage at it. I had to take a massive break from it. Just completely hating on Halo. And Battlefield, even though I'd never played Battlefield and still enjoyed Halo. Um, and just, like, how the skills carried over from one game to the next. Where, like, MW3, I just kind of listened. Black Ops 2, I developed my own kind of metas. Call of Duty Ghost, really getting into the meta. Black Ops 3 or whatever was after... Call no, Advanced Warfare was after Ghost. And just, like, completely getting the meta of that game... And then Black Ops 3 came out, and I was just like, you know what? Let's do this. And uh, Black Ops 3, actually, um, I, did, I don't like it that much, but it's a very special game to me. Because that was really... There's Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 were the first games that... Uh, Call of Duty games, console games, that I put on the channel. And... They really kind of, they were also the, uh, some of the only games I've ever made montages on. I did make uh, quick scoping and knifing montages. I edited them for my friend Connor, two of them. And I was in, or no, I was in one of them too. So uh, a lot of my editing skills stem from uh, those games. Like, I still remember like putting 40 hours into this one montage and it came out and I was like, dang, that was pretty good. I was impressed by it. And getting the basis of editing down and uh, talking about all the big stuff, all the different videos I was going to make on Call of Duty as like a you know, 16, 17, 18 year old. And just all the videos I was going to make. Being a cut commentary person, if you guys know what... If you have any idea what I'm talking about, I'm just reminiscing about the old days at this point, man. But that that game, like, getting good at it, I loved it because it had such a high skill ceiling. And then, of course, what ruined it for me was... First, I found Siege, which had an insanely high skill ceiling, right? I like Siege better than Call of Duty. And then Call of Duty with the monetization practices. Like, I remember you could see, like, where the limit of bad monetization practices were based on a Call of Duty game. Like, the entire history of, like, loot boxes and stupid DLCs and overpriced weapon skins. Like, if you just look at Call of Duty games, it's like a one-to-one... -one history graph of like what the industry standard is it's hilarious so yeah i i love it i loved it uh i will cherish those memories um yeah it's a teenager and it makes me really understand like i know fortnite gets really annoying but like if i see like 12 13 year olds 14 year olds talking like completely nerding out about fortnite i'm like you know uh, that'd be like two, three, four, five, six years ago. That was me, you know, trying to figure that stuff out on the old Call of Duty games. It's good, man. Fun memories, but that's really it for this video. Just me talking about remembering playing Call of Duty as a teenager. Uh, if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. If you guys want more 
a more expanded thoughts video. I'll make it. I'm opposite the Cash Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.